Oh, that looks big. Oh, <laughs> Hold that out, will you? Nah, well, yeah. Make it look big. <laughs> the thumbs out. camera action. Let's get out of here. Permission to come aboard? Absolutely, step okay. aboard. Forgot to take the nets off this morning. At least we got plenty of salad. Mm, so the other half live, is it? Other side too, dude. We're gonna build a wall. We're <laughs> gonna build a wall. Jump on. Lovely. Perfect. Thoughts of wisdom this morning, man? Any thoughts of wisdom? Mm. No. Nothing yet, nothing's come to me. I wouldn't want to make something up. I want to be true to the people I know. Not exactly going to plan today. Might be a short trip. Seems like we've, uh, we're blowing a fuse every time we do the tilt trim, so have to run in, grab the car, shoot off and get some more uh, fuses. Bit of an ordeal, had to hop in the uh, car, run 10 minutes down to Rye, grab some more fuses, bought out the whole shop. I think we've only had a couple of packets left. Head back to the boat now and uh, see what happens. <sighs> Look at that. Yeah. Nice latte in the cab, <laughs> on top of the toilet. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? Mix it in the toilet. Welcome, Fine and Joe crew, to another episode of Fine and Joe for 2021. And we're super pumped this morning. We've had a rough start, but we're out here. We've had some problems with the engine first off, which is good because we're in Sorrento. So we're able to just quickly go in there before Luke came and got us yet again. <laughs> and this is Luke. Redboats.com.au. Check him out. Best diver in Port Phillip Bay. So I had to dick down to the local servo and just buy them out with all their fuses. Seven packets. So now we're, now we're uh, 12 months, almost 12 months to the day when we last caught tuna. We're back out here again. Fuck that. <laughs> yes! Oh, what a ripper. I'm that excited, <laughs> shaking. To the same spot, hoping that the fish 12 months ago are still swimming in the same area. Uh, my name is Muffin Man, I'm joined by his illustrious, the great man himself, the captain. I'm not going to claim it as my own. But one, one brilliance recognises another brilliance. Right. I saw a, a saying, a meme, a, whatever you want to call it. And it was something along the lines of, if you need a, a stereo and music and whatnot on your boat, you're missing the point. Right. I think it's just enough that I sing. I think that's just enough. Uh, normally I'm hitting the... Uh, in the high notes as well. High notes. Uh, oh, in fact, the last tuna episode, you hit the high notes. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Also joined by, well, what can I say about uh, Brother Deer? This is the man of the hour, this one here. He's the guy responsible for putting us on the water. Swooped in and uh, took all the glory. You swooped in and took done all the hard work. All the glory. <laughs> he just goes, oh, why don't we just change this cable? Just maybe if we change this cable, them two days it took me five minutes that's right so it just goes to show the level of intelligence that the cap actually has sorry cap i didn't mean it that way you know you know what i'm saying oh, I know. a simple problem called for a simple man simple problem yeah, simple solution <laughs> it's a beautiful day today it's a beautiful day today i'm not going to have my protein bar and drink my coffee 
Oh no! Hello. Ah, I kept a Starby coffee. It's the top up. It's the top up. It's probably too warm anyway. It's hard to describe that feeling you get out on the water. Surrounded by deep blue ocean and breathtaking coastline, there's a sense of pure freedom. With anticipation so, we set out from Sorrento and made our way through the heads towards Torquay. We knew there was tuna out there. It was a question of where. Starting from a spot we knew held tuna last year, we made our way back along the coast, covering various steps, joining other keen fishermen along the way. We'd sounded various skills of tuna at depths, birds diving and tuna on the surface. But unfortunately, today wasn't our day. So we decided to stop off at a shipwreck, anchor up and try our luck. Oh, we got him! Gotcha! Just so people can see, just uh, you have to be very, very, very careful. You can see on the on his back, he's got these big spines, and he tries to tries to get you with them. See his little tail trying to come around and get me on the fingers. Nice oh, little critters. What have we got here? Don't you love it when we're parked 70 metres out front of bar, uh, the rip? So every cast is like a 70 metre wind. Even your small gummy just feels like a monster, like a monster snapper. And I've wound it up how many times today already, so excuse me, just brutal. I'm not even showing the respect it probably deserves. I'm looking at the other rods. A little flatty, you reckon? <laughs> Maybe a nice snapper. Got some colour there. Oh, no, gummy is it? Gummy, man. It's a good gummy. Oh, oh no. Swell shark. You know, you said gummy and then all of a sudden I saw <laughs> <laughs> You just willed it. Will you willed it, it to like, be a gummy. It's a gummy, it's great. No, yeah, no, 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 it's not. No, no, it's not. So we've been trawling around probably for the last three or four hours and. Uh, <laughs> Three, four hours? Yeah, well, at least. Six. You reckon six hours, do you? Yeah, well, yeah. So let's <laughs> We've been trolling around for, for most of the, yeah. most of the, well, all of the morning and uh, pretty much most of the afternoon. So we decided to stop off at our uh, favourite little spot, just outside of the, the rip. A uh, place that the captain caught his biggest ever snapper. <laughs> I can't even get him in, he's that big! So basically down there is a shipwreck. And we've decided just to catch ourselves a bit of bait fish. We've got some pike already in the uh, tank and do a bit of bottom bashing for a little while and then uh, try our luck back with the tuna later this afternoon, this evening, when they're on the bite. See if we can get onto a big snapper or gummy. What do you reckon? Dave's catching all the bait for us. Trying to... Um... It's no good in the bait tank. I suppose we should put it down, eh? Oh, that's a cormorant. That's the bird we want, right? See the white bird flying there? That's, that's that the, one? That's the actual... That's the bird that's we the want. Tuna bird. Well, if he starts diving right there... Oh, fuck, cut the lines and head... Does he just cut the lines? <laughs> dive in. Oh, what happened then? I lost up. everything. Yeah, it's all happening here. Dave's onto a massive, massive pike. Oh, it's got head knocks. Oh, a bit of head knocks. Like hooks in and you're like, Give yourself time to go there. <laughs> 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 you know past you well, you're not really sneaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for him to fuck around. Ah, oh, straight through. Just, oh. you remember that day you put that on my leg? Yeah, dude, that was a good yeah. time. But, uh, it looks a reasonable size. I would say. Oh, uh, dicks and flatty! Yeah, that's a decent yeah. flatty too, isn't it? So you're gonna have a good flatty feed tonight, mate. Oh, look at him. Nah, oh, the hook's oh, back. Oh, he's nasty, look Where's at him. Where's those uh, Trachodemuses, the, the lions? Um, what are we gonna do with those? Yeah. These. These are pretty good. Pretty good. 
Я уже тюрьму не люблю. Смотри. Я смолзи. Ты кьют. 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 If you're actually baiting him up, or you're trying to pull the hook no, out? I'm trying, to, <laughs> I'm trying to get the hook out with minimal damage, uh, and I, think, but I think that is not actually happening. Oh, I'm making poor it. little bugger. Oh, he's through his gills. Is this what basically happened last time we came out here? And I think uh, the second time we came out, we caught the monster snapper, we just sort of parked ourselves, say, 100 metres away from here. There he is. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Hold that out, will you? Nah, well, yeah. Make it look big. <laughs> yeah, thumbs out, that's uh, the This is the last episode. Yeah, this is. This right, is the actual spot where we caught um, zoom off. 200 of them, wasn't it? There we go. Whoa, he tried to jump straight out and back towards the boat. Go on. He's yeah, confused. Yeah, no, oh, he's got no idea where he is. Nah, he's just Poor little bugger. Down, you want to go down? Right. Here we go. Down you go. Down, little boy. Oh, he's coming back again. Well, and you know what? Yeah, so foot yeah. looked after by the captain. Yeah, I was just say, I rubbed his little belly and rubbed his little belly and sent him back down. Yeah. Uh, another nice sized nasty little spine on the back. Yeah. Hey. Oh, I reckon every drop, every drop you make, you catch one later. Anyway. Let's um, get him back there. It's about now that I get a message from another keen fisher saying that the tuna are on. So we frantically pull up anchor and head over at full steam. I get all the lures ready and we spend the next two hours trolling around looking for them. With no tuna to be seen, we make our way back giving Dave a nervous taste of oh, the rip. So what about Dave? It's like beautiful in here. It's like glass oh, coming through the rip. Flat uh, as a tack. This thing sit. And it gets... Um, about nine metres. Gets dog shit again. Yeah, well it's only 15 so, metres here. All over there. It's what just the absolutely thing? horrendous. That was 60 odd metres, now we're at 15. Well, that's it for this episode. Unfortunately, it was a somber mood on the way home. We did stop off for a cup of coffee to recharge the batteries. Unfortunately, no matter what we did, we couldn't get the tuna to bite out there. Now, I wasn't gonna make this episode, but I did. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you somewhere out there in the big blue.